one thing some mega churches don't want you to know. I remember the story so well. There was a church located here in Broward County, an older church that was aging, that was lacking in attendance, but owned a lot of property on a major road. They weren't sure what they were going to do. They tried to restart the church several times. So suddenly a mega church in our area came in and said, we'll let you keep your church. What if you were able to to keep your building and to keep your church and to keep coming here, but you got infused with new people and you got infused with a new worship team and you would get to have our pastor beamed in here via the internet every Sunday morning. In fact, you'll even get to keep your pastor that you have right now and he can continue to work here. How would that sound? Well, of course, the congregation said, we get to keep our church, yay. Well, I don't know that they read the fine print because what happened was that mega church then took over that struggling church. All the struggling church had to do was basically, well, sign its property over to the mega church because now it was obviously under their umbrella. Well, a number of years later, the mega church decided that that campus of their church was no longer viable and was able to put it up for sale. Hang on to your hat for $4 million. Yes, $4 million in an asset handed over to them. When I questioned one of their people that went there, I said to him, what's going on? And he piously looked at me and said, we're doing it for the Lord. It reminded me of something that I heard Ray Kroc say one time about McDonald's. He said, McDonald's is not in the hamburger business. McDonald's is in the real estate business. So please beware it's not always as it appears. The average church in America right now has roughly 70 people in attendance in person on Sunday morning. The mega church that down the street may not be everything that you think it is. I'm not against all mega churches. I think they're great and I have their place. But watch out and make sure that they really are in the church business and not in the real estate business. Peek behind the curtain, see what's there, find out who's doing what, Find out why they're doing it. Make sure it's not being couched in religious terms. Make sure that they are truly doing ministry the way that Jesus wants us to do it.